Hello! I'm Stephanie and welcome to a bonus episode of Scary Chat. I'm here today with my grandmother and we just finished watching The Faculty which is directed by Robert Rodriguez and it is written by Kevin Williamson. So what do you think about the film grandma? Oh uh, it was wild. Wow. Wild, scary, a little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're into like horror films yeah. and scary stuff? Really? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought that about you. <laughs> it has a huge cast. I mean, it stars just about everyone. Usher's in there. Yes. Josh Hartnett's in there. Like, whatever happened to him? Frodo. Frodo's in the film. I don't know their names. <laughs> Basically, the premise of this film is aliens have come over to take over this small town in Ohio and they start off with the coach. They get him first. And the teachers and the principal are having some kind of uh, faculty meeting and it's at night and then the coach comes to attack the principal. And she's running and it's scary oh, yes. and he comes this close to getting her. And then what happens, Grandma? Oh, goodness. <laughs> She gets out and then she becomes some... Um, remember the teacher? Yeah, the teacher got... Scissors. Scissors and stabbed her. Stabbed her up. Yes, indeed. I would never thought she would have did that. <laughs> I thought she was going to help her. Yeah, you thought it, huh? Mm -hmm. But she got taken over by an alien too. So she didn't know what else to do. So now that the aliens have taken over the school, the kids start to notice. A few kids start to notice. Yes. Everybody was changing yes. and they didn't know who was going to be their friend or the enemy. Right. That's right. When the aliens come, trust no, no one. one. Mm -mm. And I saw you get spooked when the old lady was in the shower. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen. Her skin <laughs> came off Ooh. and she just went down. Gosh. <laughs> that one great big monster. Oh my goodness. Now that was a surprise, right? I never thought that was going to be there. The little new student was going to be the head yep. queen of them all. Right. The little southern girl. Trust no one. So then they have to take drugs <laughs> to know who's the alien. Is you have to sniff some remedy of uh, Josh Hartner's character who turned, who's like the rebel of the school and then he yeah. turns out to be some scientist. Couldn't have something. thought that. But he was smart. So he mixes this chemical in his um, garage or something? Yes. And makes people sniff it. And that's the way you can tell if they're an alien or not because the aliens dry up and turn into like dust. Nothing. Because they need water. Do you think you could f survive if aliens attacked? Oh my. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. What would you do? I'd probably try to go somewhere and hide. I don't know where. <laughs> what would you do if like a family member, like if you came in contact with a family member and you found out they were an alien? Oh gosh, I have to get away from them, family member or not. I don't <laughs> want to go with any aliens. <laughs> You're out of there. I'm out of there. Okay. Yep. Which one did you think was the cutest? The the little fella. <laughs> the little one. Which one is the little one? He was short, but he was about he was a teenager. He was the same age as the rest of them, but he was small. Oh, the geeky one, mm -hmm. Elijah Wood. The one who uh, like saved the day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like nerds. Yeah. <laughs> They're smart. <laughs> he could help you escape the aliens. Probably so. It did scare me a little bit, but then I got over it. I just kind of enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah it's good. Mm -hmm. It's a good film. Get a copy of it and watch it. Listen to the woman. Go watch the faculty. You can show no. your grandparents and they won't be scared. Oh no might even enjoy it. That's right. All right, guys. So if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and tune in next week for another episode of Scary Chat. Bye. Bye. Who's your favorite grandchild? My favorite? Mm -hmm. I don't have a favorite. Oh, be you <laughs> or Lexi, because I keep calling yes. you Lexi. <laughs> you miss Lexi. But my granddaughter, Stephanie, showed me such a great time. This time and last time that I had visited here in California and I had such a great time.